internet. It makes me angry, anxious, curious, horny, frustrated, jealous, numb. Probably other emotions too, I'm too distracted to notice. I just turned 40, and at this point in my life, five minutes felt like a long time to be doing anything. At a certain point, you have to ask, were we actually better off without the internet? I decided to find out. Or that was the idea anyway. How does it feel to be an active participant in the downfall of civilization? Bad. The civilization is uh, collapsing? I don't know. I haven't really thought too deeply about it. Everywhere I went, there was a general sense we couldn't keep going like this. I had a pretty good idea why. I am on my smartphone basically 24-7. It's just tap, thumb, like, subscribe, and half the time, I don't even like it. What's the longest stint you've gone without your phone in the last five years? I usually get about seven hours of sleep a night, so. I think one time I went to the bathroom and I forgot it in the kitchen. If I was gonna salvage what was left in my mind, I needed something more drastic, a complete 30-day digital detox. For anyone who was feeling the same way, I decided to document the entire process. I locked my phone in the freezer and celebrated with Chinese food. I just feel like alive and like present in my body in a way that I, I don't know if I've ever really felt. Like, and this is six hours in. How am I gonna feel at the end of a month? We're gonna be doing this for 30 days? I think the people are gonna wanna know. Know what? Huh. I'll consult the oracle. When one door closes, another will open. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yep. Easy on the ketchup there, guys. Well, it's, it's, it's a digital detox, which means that I can't have digital. Uh, I, I, I'm still not quite understanding because, like, yeah. web development and... Like, you changed the work-from-home policy, or...? No, the, the work from home policy is exactly the same as it always has been. But that that's not open to me with my my needs right now. Would you want to come in and sharpen pencils for eight hours a day, Matt? Like, what are you referring does, to? Does like, anyone actually, do well, does job? anyone actually use a pencil there? No, no, because we're Easy Web Right Incorporated. We do have those Mennonite clients that uh, we got last year. How about we call them up? Oh, no, we can't. They don't have phones. So why don't you take your horse and buggy and head on down there? Hold, hold on. Okay. I, I, I'll call you back. No, no, no. Don't call me back. Open. When one door closes, open. another will open. I didn't know what I was doing or what I was trying to say, but I was determined to get to the bottom of it. Less than 24 hours after getting rid of my smartphone, I discovered a magic dollhouse that defied the laws of physics. It wasn't just that when one door closed, another one opened. Well, that was a big part of it. It's that I never noticed them opening and closing. When you don't have your smartphone to look at, you have to look at other things. That's when I realized it's true what they say. Life is a series of moments. It's walking home swilling airplane vodka in one crock. It's a headless dinosaur in a broken frying pan. It's both those things and more. But sometimes we're so busy seeking, we forget to find. Oh, shit, shit, the battery's dying. I can't talk. I can't, oh, well. I'm not, like I'm alone. Otherwise, why I'm would my I? my best here, man. Well. <laughs> Do my best. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. I probably could have cut that part out. But when I look back at it now, I see the beginnings of something dangerous.
I had the ability to open any door I wanted, but which one should I open? On that, I needed a little more guidance. The cookies seemed to have all the answers, even when I wasn't always ready to hear them. You will be showered with good luck. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, everything happens for a reason. Do you guys use the internet? What is the best thing about the internet? I think it's that you can talk to people all over the world. You can just find out all kinds of stuff. Sending emails. What's the worst thing about the internet? The amount of time I waste on the internet. Child pornography. Emails. When the CEOs of major tech companies get to hell, what do you think is waiting for them? Boredom. Sorry, they're all going to hell? As far as I know. The internet has given us limitless potential to explore. Why do you think you're blowing it so badly? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to give you this. Just okay. see if that might reduce your internet cravings. Goods that are not shared are not goods. Huh. You can still have the whole cookie though. Good thoughts make life better. It says others admire my flexibility, but I, I can't even touch my toes, so I don't know. Well, you know, I, I said I would be showered with good luck and I got hit by your horseshoe, so. But you know, I'd love to play a game. Yeah. The internet had messed with their sense of reality because even when I told them the cookies had shown me a magic dollhouse that just might be the escape hatch from our collective nightmare, they weren't interested. And that just proved my point. Okay, we're in luck because there's a funeral today and we're about to find out if the cure for grief really is motion. I know nothing gets me moving like Zumba. We'll see if these folks feel the same way. Ryan told me near the end Just there, a sec though, it, uh, it is a funeral, so let's try and be a little bit respectful. I'll break the ice, call you in in a sec. All right, who's ready to move? And left, and right, and left, and right. No, I think you're gonna need to get up on your pews and let's do this. Let's do this. Who is this, man? We can do it outside if you want. It's kind of rainy. I'm going. Hey, hey, I'm going. Get out of here. If you want to do it on the lawn, we can do it on the lawn. Absolutely not. Get, get right. out of here. Does everybody know how to floss? Yeah, come on. Who knows no. how to floss? We're not flossing. We're flossing. No, we're not flossing. The cure for grief is motion. It is not motion. It is it's crying. Motion. Okay, then what's a better workout routine? I know. Stop him. I know. Uh, well, basically Zumba. Basically, just Zumba. Loser. Yeah. Um, this is I know to exercise. We'll be down to size. Ryan, torch cookie. No. I am so sorry. I didn't. If I thought bone cancer, That's, you know, maybe yeah. emotions are high. Here's your radio. Thank you. From what I know of him, he was a beautiful man. Like this whole thing is now about. You it's not about my comfort. Ryan it's about your comfort. Topless men. I, you know, I can even zip this up. This has a zipper. He was a big Samba guy. You never know. You never know. I'm, I'm sorry I put you in that situation. You know? It, and we're sorry about this. Yeah. This is like, these are my scrubs. I, if we can just do these interviews, you can get back to the reception or whatever it is that you... Stitch that up for you if you like. You know what? I'm going to get my wife to do it. How many fingers is the internet worth? Hmm. For me personally? Zero. Well, no, I don't know. Yeah, no. One? I'd give a good right hand for the internet. This one is kind of Maybe different. just two. The, the pinky? pinky no, you really, for grabbing things, the pinky's handy. How many weeks would you estimate before this all just... Seven. If this were an audition tape, how would you introduce yourself to your future AI overlords? Fuck you. Yeah. Would you rather be painfully self-aware or clueless how stupid you look? Clueless, mm, how clueless stupid how, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. always. If I emailed you conclusive proof of the existence of aliens, but it was an article, not a video, do you think you'd actually read it? Yeah, <laughs> I love articles so much. I spend most of my time reading articles. I'll read an article, and then that'll lead me to another article. I have read a few articles about medieval dentistry, 
There's a guy who bought a, a, a cabin in the Italian Alps. The first toys you should get for your baby. Small houses in Arizona. How to start cilantro without getting mushy. I guess what I want to do is ask you some questions about the internet and go, why did you choose the internet over me? Is it fair I to chose ask? Is it as fair to ask? Is that interview? fair to say that that's a decision we had to make given that uh, we're a web development Well, had uh, to. Scare quotes. Uh, you could put scare quotes around that I if did. you like. I already did. In, in terms of implementing that, in terms of any actual, a new funky uh, way of looking at this is, you know, like, at the same time, we still need a path forward in terms of implementation. Take those abstract ideas and reduce them down to actual implementables. Let's implement you know? an interview. So the internet is a technological miracle. Explain in detail how it gets to your house. Like the information that's in the internet comes over the internet. It's all done through crystals. If you had to learn something new yes. and I told you you can't use the internet, yes. would you still bother? No. By what percentage has the internet increased your hatred of other people? A lot. It went, I would say went from, at least, it was at 20 and now it's at like 35. So I started at 20 before the internet. Yeah, what, what's the number that tips you into actual murder? Oh, like 17. Yeah, do you still use social media? Oh, every day, all the time. Like my authentic self is the guy who's having a great time, um, Everybody is always like saying he's a, he's a great guy, and I could be that on on social media to help them have more fun in their lives. They can watch me having fun. I just want you to try this, and if it doesn't work, and you go back to the internet, fine. But eat. listen, I got to go back to the internet because I got to work today because we're developing a, a big web page for canoes, canoes, canoes. Your enthusiasm inspires people. Well, that's true, actually. It is true. It is true. You know, I always find almost every time these things are true. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Now that I'd been freed, I couldn't afford to order in every meal anymore. There was no hopping online to get my cookies wholesale. But I still had a habit, and I needed to feed it. <laughs> you see that? Get ready to do something daring. Okay. <laughs> it's go time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Are those those precautionary casts, or are they, did you actually see a doctor? Precautionary casts. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. Are, they're are real. your are your hands too broke to answer some questions, or can we actually do an interview? <clears throat> I'll answer your questions. All right. How long would you estimate your attention span is in seconds? I guess between twenty-five and thirty seconds. How long before humans lose the ability to read? All humans, or just like the majority? Because I mean, we might already be there. Now that you're an invalid, how important is the internet to you? <laughs> you fucking kidding me? I told you we were playing for keeps. Like I said that several times. I mean, it's probably the most important thing I have right now. I, mean, I, I can't even write a freaking text by myself. I need Siri's help. Siri, hey Siri, I can't use my cans. No, don't type that. Okay, this is not. See, that's why I, hold on, nope. Get your juice box. I'm like, uh, nurse, can you, are you? No, F this, I'm, I'm done, man. What I'm did just... it? Need All to get nothing. rid of this. What? Yeah, go to hell. Do not burden yourself with trivial matters, Rebecca. Matt, this place is disgusting. I am sorry if my principles mean more to me than money or success. Oh my God, I can't do this here. anymore. Just, just try it. No. Try one. All you do is eat these fortune cookies, and you haven't brushed your teeth in weeks. Well, avoid focusing on the negative aspects of the past. I'm done taking advice from you. I liked you better when you were addicted to your phone. All right, well, you're a trivial matter to me now. Down to us. Too weird, Matt. You're on your own. What? See ya. Oh, I see. You beat me up at your uncle's funeral. You won't watch me fight with my wife! Doors. They're like windows you can walk through. Doors. If any new ones were opening, they must have been in a different building. Doors. Doors were metaphorically convenient. Just like the goddamn platitudes I've been feeding my soul on. My life wasn't even that bad. <laughs> sure, uh, the, the dining room still has the same weird wallpaper as when we moved in. And sure, there's people I'd like to see dead. And sure, there's injustices outside my frock and I'm gonna go look for the door. I have eaten over 800 fortune cookies. I still don't know where I'm headed. 
But after everything I've been through, there's one thing I'm sure of. This time, I'll know it when I see it. I found it. It's real and I found it. Okay? This is where I live now. No more platitudes, no more videos, no more shopping on the toilet, no nothing. Closing the door in the modern era and opening this one. So, you know where I'll be if you need me. Okay, so this will be for my private collection. It's plenty of fresh water. Bedroom. Crystals to get the frequencies out. And it's even got a sitting pyramid with a little snack. Here goes. Something you lost is in your pocket. Oh, God. Oh, God. No! 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 Oh! Oh, it's true.